people who like fishing, camping, and hunting like to come here. But you might also like to go in that. You are looking at the new to North America Rover King Universal Slide-In Pickup Camper. And you are looking at the Capra model which is designed to fit most mid-size pickup trucks. I'll have a link in the description section to their website where you can see a list of all the pickup trucks in which this camper is designed to fit. And like many other lightweight campers, this one has a top designed to lift. Let's have a look and see what's involved. Each latch has a locking carabiner which must be removed, after which each latch can be opened up. After all the latches are opened up, a simple push on the top and voila! And unlike other models on the market, on this model the gas struts push up the full top. And at this stage, once the top is lifted, you go inside and screw these bolts into the structural panels at the front and at the rear, and that serves to make the canvas nice and tight. Well, I'm impressed with the style and functionality of the outside, but let's have a look and see if it's translated on the inside. At first glance, once opening the door, I could see there's room to stand in the bed of this pickup truck, as well as some seating at a table where you could sit across from your partner. And then as we get inside and have a look towards the back, there seems to be a really spacious bed up here. Lots of light and windows and screen to let air flow. So I have to say it is very comfortable here and you've got a table for two so you can sit across from your friend and just have dinner, play cards. It's quite a nice setup. It amazes me how they've crafted this for a mid-sized pickup truck bed. Now this storage cupboard comes standard with the unit. It also can be replaced with either a porta potty or even a 12 volt fridge. Well, they've nailed aesthetics and comfort, but what about the mechanicals? Now here's all the working mechanicals where you have your solar power because the battery is in that cupboard on the right. And then behind this unit is your water tank and a 12 volt pump powers a shower head with a magnetic base that can be attached anywhere on the shell of the camper. Underneath this bunk is storage and then this cupboard which comes standard with the unit. It has a sink inside that you can put out here on the tailgate when you want to use it or use it inside. And if you wanted to, you could replace it with a porta potty or even a 12 volt refrigerator. I have to admit, this is super comfortable. There's a large bed right here with really nice firm foam padding, lots of height the whole way along here. And if in the middle of the night you need to step down, you have this space down here. If you need to use the porta potty or get a drink or get a snack, or if it's raining out, you have a nice comfortable area here to get out of the weather. And the fact that the whole roof is extended really gives this place a huge inside feel. The lower windows of the camper have an integrated sliding window, screen, and blinds. Pretty nice. And those molly panels that you see on the outside of the camper come standard with the unit for attaching some of your overland gear. But there's still more functionality that we could talk about. For example, when you put down the dining table, it gives you better access to extend the bed. Let's have a look and see what's involved. 
When the dining table is not needed and you wish to extend the bed, you simply slide this piece of plywood out and add your pillows. Another interesting feature is that this area here can also be converted into a bed, say if you had one of your children with you. There's a board that just easily fits in between in this space. You don't have to do anything with the table. And then this backrest fits here, and this one fits here, and you have another sleeping area. That's pretty slick. So it gives you a lot of functionality and versatility that you could even use this space. And if you want to just sit on these ends, you could do that as well. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Rover King has managed to make this camper a universal camper so that it can fit most any mid-sized pickup truck. But how did they do that? A universal design would have to accommodate the different cab heights and box sizes. In the case of cab height, Rover King accommodated nicely for that by adding a rubber strip on the bottom of the cab. This accommodates the taller cab of the Jeep Gladiator nicely. And when it comes to box size, the Rover King camper has a space behind the cab. And one might argue that this is a compromise in the design by Rover King in order to be universal. Well, some might look at this as an opportunity. Like I said, instead of a compromise, this is an opportunity. For example, you might be able to mount a camping table in this space. Maybe you could have access to storage from the inside as well as the outside. Or maybe even this is a great location to mount a diesel heater. Let's have a look at how we could raise this camper. And just like other slide-in campers, the Rover King also has four attachment points that you can attach jacks on which to lift the camper. And with the aid of a simple battery-operated drill, you can lower the jacks to begin to raise the camper. You just simply go around and little by little, you raise the camper off the bed of your rig and then you could drive out from under it. This way you could leave your camper at the campsite while you're on the trails or when you're home, take it off your rig, put it on a dolly and store it in the garage when you're not using it. And as you can see here, closing down the top of the camper is as easy as it was to lift it. But when it comes to the acquisition of a camper such as this, and this being a channel called Cheaper Jeeper TV, how can I justify showing something like this? Well, let's talk about that in this week's tip segment. Now for some Cheaper Jeeper tips. As Cheaper Jeeper TV, I naturally would look at the costs of these campers as I encountered them at the Overland North Gathering. And what I did observe is that on competitors' websites, they'll show you the campers and the accessories, but the prices are not so evident. Unlike at the Rover King website, they have the three models available. They list all the accessories for the three models, as well as their list price. This is very handy and as you do your research you may find that these are a very competitive value. Also if you're like me and you happen to already have solar panels and a lithium solar powered battery pack, you might forego getting the premium package and get the standard package of this camper and possibly save a little bit of money. However if you're not handy and you go for the premium package you'll get the professional installation and still pretty good value. So special thank you to our folks over at Rover King for coming out to show us their rig. From my impressions, it's an excellent design that looks fantastic. And I certainly couldn't include all the information available about this camper. That's why I'll have a link to their website in the description section of this video. Why don't you let me know what you think of this camper in the comments section below. And if you reach out to our friends over at Rover King, make sure to let them know that Cheaper Jeeper TV sent you. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found the video interesting. And if you did, how about giving it a thumbs up? If you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. 
Until next week, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.